Welcome back, uh, January 23rd. Um, it cut me off right in the no, middle no, of my no, reading. No. Let me finish my paragraph. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, it's you reading. I thought it was, it was me reading. reading, and I wanted to read it. Oh, okay. Then Moses left Pharaoh, <laughs> and this actually I'm reading from chapter 8, and I got cut off at the end of uh, uh, verse 29, and I might have cut, cut off. I should just read that whole thing just in case. Okay. okay, let's read 29 to the end again. Moses answered, As soon as I leave you, I will pray to the Lord, and tomorrow the flies will leave Pharaoh and his officials and his people. Only be sure that Pharaoh does not deceitful, act deceitfully again by not letting his people go to offer sacrifices to the Lord. Then Moses left Pharaoh and prayed to the Lord, and the Lord did what Moses asked. The flies left Pharaoh and his officials, his people, and not a fly remained, but this time also Pharaoh hardened his heart and would not let the people go. I was uh, noticing uh, in verse seven, chapter 7, when we started the plagues, uh, whenever, like with the snake, and when Aaron's staff became a snake, the magicians had snakes. Um, when the plague of blood, when the Nile became blood, the niches the magicians added more blood to it. Mm. And when the plague of frogs, the Egyptians added more frogs to it. They just made it worse. Great. But as soon as they left um, the Nile, the concept of the Nile, because Egypt is centered on the Nile, as soon as you got away from them and went to gnats and flies, the magicians can do it. Oh, really? Yeah. You know what, the other thing that crossed my mind is, if the musicians had all this power where they can make plagues, why couldn't they take it away? That's true, too. Yeah, why couldn't they take it away? So the king knew that there was something special about the plagues coming from Moses, because he didn't, that we know of, <coughs> ask the mu musicians to take them away. He said to Moses, pray to your God. Well, maybe maybe the musicians could have taken their portion of the blood and the, the snakes and the or the whatever way, but they still had not have greater power than God does. Right. Okay, where are you reading now, Eric? Okay. Now we're going to turn to the New Testament. Matthew chapter, let me see, 15 verses 1 to 20. 15 verses 1 to 20. Okay, Matthew chapter 15 talks about clean and unclean. Hmm, that means, does that mean like Having a bath and not having a bath? Well, I certainly clean the house this week because we've had an unclean spirit in our house called a virus, a flu virus. So, I don't know. We'll see. Says, then some Pharisees and teachers of the law came to Jesus from Jerusalem and asked, Why do your disciples break the tradition of the elders? They don't wash their hands before they eat. Mm, Jesus they're spreading replied, flu germs. And Jesus replied, and why do you break the commands of God for the sake of your tradition? For God said, honor your father and mother, and anyone who curses his father or mother must be put to death. Mm. But you say that if a man says to his father or mother, whatever help you might otherwise have received from me is a gift devoted to God. He is not to honor his father with it. Thus, you nullify the word of God for the sake of your tradition. You hypocrites. Isaiah was right when he prophesied about you. These people honor me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. They worship me in vain. Their teachers are but rulers, rules taught by men. Jesus called the crowd to him and said, Listen and understand. What goes into a man's mouth does not make him unclean, but what comes out of his mouth, that is what makes him unclean. Then the disciples came to him and said, Do you know that the Pharisees were offended by you and by what they heard? He replied, Every plant that my heavenly Father has not planted will be pulled out by the roots. Leave them. They are blind guides. If a blind man leads a blind man, both will fall into a pit. Then Peter explained the parable to us. You are still so dull, Jesus 
don't you see that whatever enters the mouth goes into the stomach and then out of the body but the things that come out of the mouth come from the heart and these make a man unclean for out of the heart come evil thoughts murder adultery sexual immorality, immorality theft false testimony and slander these are what makes a man unclean but eating with unwashed hands does not make him unclean you know the, the the big source for this today i guess maybe how it gets into the heart is tv like every movie we watch now is a disclaimer in the beginning of it saying sexual content language violence you know all these things here that are are described as the things that come out of the heart that make a man unclean so a tv you know puts those things in your heart and makes us unclean i think about all the movies you and i watch in, in the evening when we you know, we're really tired and not time to go to bed. If we go to bed too early, we wake up in the middle of the night. So we we have this bad habit of turning on W Channel because it's usually like girls' night out movies. But even those, and oh, I have to watch them. You know, <laughs> he likes to watch the History Channel. But anyways, uh, even those have disclaimers. And uh, you know, and when you read this scripture, I'm thinking, you know, I'm reading the Word here to try to get my heart pure before God. And then I watched this. Uh, woman's movie and there's a disclaimer about all these things like slander and violence and sexual content so i'm gonna like i'm notice, doing the good notice it doesn't come into a man's heart or a woman's heart by the mouth it comes through the eyes right hmm. and by hearing another thing that jumped out at me and i was thinking about when eric was reading about the uh, children cursing their parents that they what to say they'll die or they should be killed. What does it say here? Honor your father and mother. Anyone who curses his mother or father. This is from shall verse be put to death. four. Should be put to death. There'd be a lot of dead young people nowadays oh, yeah. because you go to a McDonald's or a fast food restaurant and you hear the young people talking about their parents and that's cursing their parents. They're saying horrible things and writing horrible things about their parents. And I wonder if you only half cursed them, whether you'd be half dead. <laughs> <laughs> You're funny. Are we done today's video? I might be half dead. <laughs> yeah. Did you curse your parents? No. Did Are we done today's video? Yes, ma'am. I didn't get to read from Matthew. That's too bad. That's too bad. You get tomorrow. You can do that. I can read the New Testament tomorrow. Are you promised? Yes. I pro You promise. Okay. You're I, not supposed I trust to make your promises. Word. Oh, yeah. Let it be yes and no. Say yes or no. Yes. Yes. Okay. okay. Good man. But you'll have to remember it. And we're hoping to get out and get a car ride this afternoon, and maybe that'll get us some fresh air and make us feel better. I opened windows yesterday and froze and trying to air my bedroom out. And then she turned the heat up. Well, I was cold while I was freezing. <laughs> so these yeah. viruses cost you a lot because when I went to the doctor and he gave me prescriptions, even though we have a drug plan, it was over $60 by the time we left the drugstore. Well, we bought some non-prescription drugs. Well, he told us to, though. He yeah. told us to but, buy decongestants, anyway. so it was still as we a are result. Blessed. Of the we are blessed. We are blessed. We are blessed. And then I had to buy Lysol and all that stuff to disinfect the house. Anyhow, my dear. Anyhow, my dear. I'm rambling. It's time to move on and say goodbye and say close in prayer. Thank you for being so faithful to join us. Uh, please, as I said before, open the Word of God and follow along in the readings each day, and you get more benefit out of it. And an unbiased, like we're biasing it, I guess, when we make a comments. If you read right from the Word, you get an unbiased reading and pray, Holy Spirit, give you understanding before you read. And uh, we are so happy you join us faithfully. Yes, and we do pray that. Yes. Um, Heavenly Father, we thank you once again for the privilege of reading your Word. Yes. And uh, Lord, we do pray for those people who. Open the word and read it, that they will find you. Mm -hmm. We pray a blessing upon all that hear and receive. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Be God blessed. bless. And I'm going to just close the door.